A very good afternoon to all of you here. My name is Zoe from uh, Office of Citizen Experience. So in SIT, we have this saying, once a citizen, always a citizen, which means that once you graduate, you are still have full accessibility to all our facilities in SIT. All right, so it's a very, very privileged uh, experience that you will get in SIT, all right? You know, in SIT, it should be about the citizen, which means that your journey starts with us and it will continue with us. And in OSE, what we want to do to achieve is to help our students, help our learner launch transferable skill sets. Now, what, what are transferable skill sets? You learn a lot of hard skills in classroom. Together with your faculty, you will do projects, you will do teamwork, you will go through all this during your study between three to four years. And on top of that, some of you here will go to what we call the integrated work study program which is eight months to 12 months, okay? What we hear a lot from our industry partners are that our students sometimes lack communication skills. Sometimes they lack the skill set to connect with one another at work. You know, the truth is when you are at work, you don't just work with accountants or you don't just work with engineers. How many of you, especially parents, you will know that when you're at work, you work with everyone from different departments. Isn't that so? And because of that, you need to be able to connect. And this is why in our university, we place a lot of uh, emphasis on activities outside of classroom. Why? Because you get to know people who are not just from your own program. That when you start to join things outside of classroom, you learn to think on your feet. And you, how all of you must know that it's so important, especially we live in such a dynamic world in this generation. You know, uh, I, I see on quite a number of interviews for our uh, donors who give out scholarship or our companies who are giving out prize and book awards. You know, honestly, having a, a, a good grade is a given. All right. So what do they ask during such interviews? They will tell, they will ask this very, they will ask always without fail, they will ask this question. May I know what do you do outside of your classroom? <laughs> You know, and a lot of times, sometimes what students struggle is this, because they are fully, fully only coming to uh, uh, doing a degree purely on studies, they do not participate on anything. They don't take up leadership position, nothing. So it's actually quite hard to actually explain sometimes, because what employers these days, they look for something that is different in you. They want to see how you stand out in the crowd. They want to see whether, so besides very good in the area of studies, tell me more about yourself. So how, do you, how are you going to be able to articulate that? How are you going to be able to sell yourself? And this is where you need to come up with stories of who you are. And what we are trying to do here in SIT is to give you that platform so that you are able to express yourself differently, all right, from who is out there so that they will pick you. However, the exciting news is SIT is moving to our brand new campus uh, over this May and June, this year, all right? So it's been a long wait. I think COVID has put us back for a good two years, but guess what? We are there, we're getting there. So it's very exciting, all brand new facilities, all right? So when you pay your miscellaneous, miscellaneous fees, uh, you will get brand new facilities. It's very exciting, okay? Now, we have a lot of things here that will be of interest to you. I think you will be able to find all this information on our website, so I'm not going to go through, through them in details. But what I can tell you is this, that there are a lot, a lot of opportunities for you to participate or be a leader. Okay, in SIT, we encourage students to become leaders. We want to give as many students opportunities to become leaders. All right, that's why we do not have a student union. So what we do is we ensure that have tons of you signing up to say, I want to be a leader, I want to give it a shot. You know, I have a student here, he's not able to make it today, but I will share his story. Poly student who is extremely introvert. He does not <laughs> like to be in crowds, don't want to talk to people. But when he came to SIT, he said, you know what, I'm going to give myself a challenge and take up a lead leadership position. And he started our photography club. All right? And <laughs> amazing, he came out of his own shell, come out of his comfort zone, talk to people, start to lead a group, photography, and guess what? When he went for interview, he's now with KPMG, and they asked him, so what do you do that is different from your peers? He said, I was the president of photography club. I started it in SIT three years ago, and this is what I did. Guess what? He's working there now. 
you know. What I'm trying to say is that difference. So this is the kind of opportunities that if you are interested as a student, that you want to start things new, our team here we are very open to let you start. That's why our numbers keep growing. The, today, we are looking at 850 student leaders. That's a lot for a uh, university, all right? And we want to grow that number. Why? Because we want more and more of you to become leaders. Again, there are sports, there are arts. So whatever categories you are looking for, we have. All right, you want to start your own? We have. Later on, at the end, I will show you some videos of our sportsmen, our athletes, our performing artists. All right, they are doing very well in the area of uh, training that they have been going through. First year experience, if you join SIT, your orientation will be in August, okay? And you will get to meet a lot, a lot of friends. We are doing mass orientation. What's the difference between our mass orientation? You get to meet all friends from different, different programs, whether you are in ICT, you are in physio, or you are in engineering, you'll get to have a mix and know more people, number one. Number two is we invite our industry partners. So which means that they will come here to give a talk to tell you what are the industry looking for, okay? So that when you sign up for your program, you know, our industry partner is like, we can't wait for you fast enough, graduate so that we can hire all of you. It's very encouraging when you hear that from our industry partners direct. We just want you to know that in SIT, we, we are very purposeful in giving students opportunities. And I mean really purposeful. So long you say, I want to give it a shot, we will be like, oh great, there's a lot of opportunities for you. Like the citizen ambassadors, all right, they will engage all your ministers. Ministers always come, I think our Minister Chan is coming in March to see our students and our ambassadors will be the one engaging him. So if you just say, I want to give it a shot, guess what? You literally will have front seat row with Min Chan and have a chat with him. In SIT, we have a lot, a lot of such opportunities for donors. Our ambassadors will engage with all our donors, all right? Our donors will say, hey, how are you doing, etc." One in two person in SIT are under bursaries, okay? Which means that we have a lot, a lot of donors out there who are willing to support our students. And because of that, these, there are many opportunities for you all to network with people in the industry, whether with our donors, and even for with our ministers who will come and visit us. So I want to let you know that SIT is a very tight-knitted community. Personal development programs, one of the things that we will be teaching our students is all kinds of uh, leadership training and also uh, personal etiquette. Remember we talk about how you present yourself, how, how do you even dine, you know, etc. We will be providing all those training to our students. And of course, there are other uh, programs and events that's available for our uh, for SIT students. Now, well-being in healthy campus. What is that? Extremely important. We have full-time counselors in our institution. We also have student insurance. Okay, which means that there are coverages for our students' well-being. All right, we do look after our students very well. We are very diverse in our uh, demographic, and we are very inclusive. So we celebrate our different cultural events to ensure that all of us are actually accepting one another, okay? All right, so these are two brand new areas that we are developing because of our move to Pongo. We have six campuses right now. Trust me, it's not easy to connect six campuses students together, all right? So we are all very excited to move to Pongo because with Pongo, we are able to start to connect all our students together in one place. And this is something that we are looking forward to for a long time. And citizen services, as I mentioned, we expanded our portfolio to ensure that we, when you come in from admission, even when you exit, you are still able to access things in SIT. I think this is what is important for us to continue to connect with you.